What's happening right now is Chinese style uh, technocracy. It's Chinese style technocracy in a nutshell. And this goes back to Kissinger meeting with Mao Zedong in the early 70s, the creation of an artificial alliance with China, the creation of the Trilateral Commission with Zbigniew Brzezinski, creating a technocratic super state worldwide. And guess what? This is a final step, the information war, the prison planet, exactly what Alex Jones, no matter what do you think of Alex Jones, that is really more accurate than ever. That is the final agenda, that's the end game, and we're in the end game, and either we stand up now, speak out now, and keep pushing people to the other alternative sites, or we forever hold our peace, and I guess we'll never know the truth again, we'll just fall into the Logan's Run society we've created. Friends. This is Dan Dixie reporting for Press for Truth, and I must say, my friends, I assume that the PFT audience here are not a bunch of toddlers who are just incapable of under, uh, understanding the information that I present here. In fact, I assume that you do your due diligence into the things I say, and you can evaluate for yourself whether or not it's truthful or not. I certainly hope you do. Well. YouTube doesn't exactly operate in the same manner. They have appointed themselves as the political gatekeepers of thought and opinion, and it's now escalating to extremely authoritarian uh, extremes, as we are now seeing this just out from the drum. YouTube rolls out conspiracy debunking fact check feature in the UK. YouTube is bringing its fact check information panels to the UK and Germany as part of an international crusade against misinformation. The geographical expansion follows the success of similar panels in the US, Brazil, and India. So this is a global move that is starting and it's going to make its way here to the West very soon. So joining me on the line right now to uh, talk about how this is going to affect those of us in the field of alternative media is our good friend Josh Sigurdsson of World Alternative Media. Uh, Josh, thank you for joining us here, um, Press for Truth, to talk about this today. Um, now, I want to get your thoughts on this new move from YouTube. They're, they're accelerating their, uh, their, their abilities here to be able to uh, uh, control the free flow of information. Uh, and as we see here from this Drum article, it says, what do the fact-checking tools do? Well, it says region-specific information panels alert users when specific search terms that are prone to misinformation are used. Informed by verified third-party fact checkers, the service informs users of possible controversy within search results directly through terms such as hoax alert or fake. Anyone falling down the rabbit hole of flat earth theorizing, anti-vaccination scaremongering, or 5G radiation fears will be directed to the authoritative sources such as encyclopedia. Pedia Britannica, the NHS, and the World Health Organization. Such panels will begin rolling out in the UK search results over the coming days as YouTube fights to steward fast-moving news cycles, rumor-mongering, and unfounded claims. Josh, <laughs> what do you make of this coming from Google, the, the absolute umbrella company of censorship here, um, to, to say that they're going to make themselves the gatekeepers of political thought and opinion here moving forward with these so-called fact-checking panels. I mean, what do you make of this? 